Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Tormented Souls. It is a, I guess, an indie horror game very much based on, or at least kind of like a an indie successor to the original Resident Evil game. I mean, I'm seeing... Or like, first couple of games, back when it was like fixed camera perspective, lots of puzzles. Oh, yeah, because, I, I mean, I'm already getting the Resident Evil vibe with the mansion, the girl who kind of looks out of place but then what is what is that it's a nail device? gun it's a nail she's gun? got a nail gun yeah it's a modified nail gun with uh it looks to be like a uh an air canister uh, attached yeah. to it mm -hmm. normally i think with nail guns you have it attached to something else or i don't actually i've only ever used like a nail gun once but it's probably been modified so it ha does higher pressure so it can do some damage mm -hmm. there's also something freaky in the background Anyway, oh, instead of ooh, talking right. about this too much, uh, quick thank you to P-Cube for sending this off to us, and let's get rolling. Yeah. They love plants, apparently. Plants. Plants. More plants. Oh, someone's golden retriever probably made it into this. Oh, yeah. Everything looks really old and dusty. Yeah. And she already looks geared up. Is this a post-apocalypse situation? A letter for me. I never receive letters. I'm actually quite curious about that because, like, this house looks super trashy, but she seems to be living there normally. Mm-hmm. But she's already she already has the gear and everything. Yeah. So, but they probably just didn't want to have multiple character models and different outfits. I don't know. I should check the front of the letter to see who sent it to me. Or sent it to who? Oh, from John Doe. Andre, you're going way too fast. From John Doe, Wildberger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada, to Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell River, Canada. Ah, oh, so this is set in Canada then. Ah! Ah! My head! What was that? Damaged photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. It's you. Why does it look like it's still on fire? Yeah, that that is bizarre. Uh, or at least maybe it's. Is there like a zoom? Yeah, because it it definitely looked like they tried to go for the this photo has been burned look. But the interesting thing is, if you notice, the left side of the image looks fairly pristine. It's just the right side. Yeah. With the one girl. Yeah, so this is probably her. Can you flip it over? You just think you can abandon us here? Ooh. Us? So is she it's venturing been two to the island? Weeks Ooh. since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Oh, the subtitles are delayed. Yep, they're off. <laughs> Oops. But... Not gonna lie, I, I realize maybe this is just a me thing. But if I'm going on, like, an adventure somewhere, I probably wear pants. Yeah. I don't like the idea of going around with my legs bare like that. Yeah. And if she's expecting trouble... I mean, maybe she isn't, but... I mean, look at this place. And we still don't know if the whole world is in a state of an apocalypse, or if... She's just an intensely messy person. Oh, no! Knocked out. Knocked over the head. Private restroom? What's that? Uh, oh, gosh. What the hell? So they stripped her naked and put a tube in her mouth? Oh gosh, actually, I did not anticipate this. You're gonna have to censor that. Yeah.
And did they tear an eyeball out? <laughs> um. And she's dressed immediately. I mean, that's what the noises imply. That I know. She found her clothes and put everything I on just... again. I just... Did they need that? I mean, I guess it gives kind of that sense of body horror and, it, like, it's, violation. It's probably the alien vibe of who knows what they did to her. But just... Uh, why was I connected to the respirator? Respirators and oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? And yeah, what about her eye? God, what have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? Wait, so... Is she... She put the bandages back on, but... Yeah. Did that imply that her eye was just gone. completely gone? Yeah. William Wild Wildberger's diary. A birth certificate and stuff? It is the happiest day of my life. After the suffering we've endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. There's more after all this time. She's returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years. She was waking up from a dream. It's not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby Emma was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I don't think this event was to have meaning... I uh, think this event to have some meaning or other. I'm not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. I wonder what number it is. Is it three? I'm seeing oh three on the right. Uh, I think that's just page three. Oh, okay. You would think that you could have looked at the birth certificate time. I'm seeing month. So it nine seven nineteen seventy two. Was it? Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, there's more to this. I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore. After all this time, I refused to let hope grow inside my chest, but now that Maria is pregnant again, I'm going to believe again for Maria, for those little souls, for me. And then that's his thing. Can you but look at the. In, can you just go over the birth certificate? Is it Spanish or is that. No, it just says Anna Wildberger, female. Yeah. Blackwood Island. Oh. No, no, no. I'm, I'm reading the journal entry and it's in Spanish. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because the left is in English. Yeah. Yeah, because in the right says, this is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, you know, okay, Feliz so it's a direct translation. Mi, yeah, mi vida. But yeah, yeah, what is that? September 7th, 1971? Uh, it says 72. Oh, okay. Probably easier to read on your screen. Mine's a lot smaller. Um. Is that the watch? Does it have the time? An old pocket watch. There's a latch on the crown. Wait a minute. Well, there's the two babies, but there's no... Oh, oh, wait a minute. So, it's supposed to be 1235? Maybe. So, oh, an old photograph of two young twins. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. So, we should just remember that time. Yep. A padlock is holding it in place. So it was 12... 30... Was it 35 or 37? Did I say?
Oh no no, it was it was thirty five. Yep. It was just it's hovering over the seven, which is why I was thinking of the number seven. Okay. Padlock. You have now have a combination padlock to use as you will. Yeah, as an item that we can actually just carry around with us. You have a wrench. Saw size is adjustable. Nothing else to do here. Well, I appreciate it. Can you look that. around at the wall? There's something written there. Do not let shadows embrace you. What does that mean? So this is about tank turning? Yeah. And is that sprinting? Yeah, so it's it's old school tank controls. Mm -hmm. And I can hold uh, X to run. There's also Y to probably open doors. Maybe. No, I what? remember playing games with tank controls. It's not full tank controls. Mm hmm. Like, tank controls would have me turn. You'd then have to go turn, forward. and then you'd have to go forward. Yeah, that would be like Mist Uru. Yeah, so this this is not actually tank controls. It's tankier than it normally is. Like, it, it has to go through some level of tank turning to get until the, like, the point where you're pointed in the right direction. Oh, do you need a. You need a doorknob. Oh, but you're just going to use the time. Oh, it can be, be modified. modified. Oh my gosh, do we have to? Just a little bit. Escape. Unless, of course, we don't get to keep it. That, that was just the puzzle. East Wing Corridor. Wait, no, don't. The shadows. Don't let the shadows embrace you. You need to stay in the light. I can only interesting. assume. What's interesting? Oh, just the style and whatnot. I mean, look at everything. So there's candles lit, tons of plants. Ooh, creepy doll. Old photographs. Do you know what's interesting? Oh, an old gas lighter. Look at the... Oh! Oh, it's because you took it off the yeah. baby's hand. It's how we get into the dark area. But Oh, it's a potty training seat. Well, thing. no, actually that's Oh, that's It's for, for older people too. Yeah. I think the mother what well, didn't the, the doctor imply that the mother hadn't been herself yeah. for a long time Which and is had kind of, gone of freaky considering the guy was talking about how it's like hadn't, you know, she hadn't been the uh, been right for quite some time. Like that gives me some kind of ick feeling. In terms of like, how were those babies conceived? Was she, you know, when did her mental illness? Ooh, what's that? Start? That on the right. It looks like a bunch of spirits. It definitely. There's a lot of old photographs. How would you feel to have show up in a video game? If you were someone from, look at the people from the 1800s on the left. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that funny? To imagine that. These people who had no concept of games or even movies. Would have their visages used in. Someone's game. Breast feeding. It freaks me a little bit that this is. This place is so junky. Because this is supposed to be a hospital. Yeah. But there's a lot to do here. Is there a map that I can pull out? Now, how, do you have to worry about lighter fluid or is it infinite? As far as I can tell, currently infinite. It's locked. It appears to open electronically. Yeah. It's just like... I don't know. This this always weirds me out with a number of things. It worked in Resident Evil 1, where it's like kind of this creepy maze mansion that had been modified to have a lab in it. And maybe that's going to be kind of the point with this one, too. The waiting room. Wait, where, do those people have... <gasps> Go back. Do those people have bags over their head? No, gas, gas masks. Gas masks. World War One style. World War I, yeah. Why did those fall off the wall? Oh, hey, hey. That painting, of course we've seen that in in class. Is that a... The Nightmare. The Nightmare. Yep. Painted by Henry Fuseli, 1781. Yeah, that's that's when they thought that gremlins would appear and him sitting atop her is supposed to represent the, the weight of it. 
It depicts a woman in a deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. The recreation is amazing. It almost looks like the original. Unless it is the original, somehow. Ooh, a clip of nails can be used with a nailer. Can you equip the nailer? We don't have one. Oh, do you need a, a, a wrench again? It. A pharmacy service window. I can't see anything on the other side. Another creepy doll. This doll gives me the creeps. I thoroughly agree. Out of order. Maximum lemon soda. Ah, oh, vending machine. It's out of order. Locked appears to open electronically. So you need to find a way into that control room. Yep. Examination room. Oh, safe room. Ah, it has the music and everything. Yep. Human organs? What's in there? The left side of a plastic heart. Oh, medical books. Nothing useful. I wonder if you need to put the plastic heart back in the chest of this. Yep. A detailed mannequin of the human torso. Maybe. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. Yep. Oh, see. Wow, this is You have to use the classic. recorder. Old, Old files. files. Nothing interesting. Really? It's not plugged in. Plug it in then. And that is creepy. It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. Really? You don't want to see what's underneath? A vial of morphine. Treats minor injuries. I, mean, I wouldn't exactly say it treats the injuries. I, I think so it just nullifies the pain, them. but it wouldn't okay. help. So, I guess, do we save? You only we have one well. yet. You only have one. Yeah. I mean... I suppose what you'd have to walk down some halls again if you died. And sit through that horrible naked cutscene again. Uh yeah, that's true. I, I suppose if you want to save you can just in case. You I get might as well. I it's kinda of one of those that killed if, if I we've been going for eighteen minutes already. Uh, give or take. Yeah, fixed camera perspective throws me off a little bit when it switches like that. I wonder if it activates an old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Registry. Progress saved. I do appreciate the fact that she actually has, like, a, a thing to say. Mm -hmm. I think that would have actually been really cool in the original Res Resident Evil games. Where, if you reach a certain checkpoint in the game when you save... They have something new to say about yeah. their progress. Yeah, just a little bit more. I remember another game having that, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, I think it was probably Heaven's Fault. Now that I think about it. Ooh, a nautical helmet? Yeah. One of just the old randomly ones. Here. There's a piece of paper over there that looks like a map. Wait. So, wait a minute. Look at that. Aliens, Egyptians, bees. And it's like a key slot. A key but also, slot. the world to naked people. The handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. Oh, okay. Maria 
Wildberger's diary. 6th of June, 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. I mean, unsurprisingly. I mean, yeah. And notice how that has an A on it? Yeah, so there's more. Yeah, there's a map. So we have the examination room, the private restroom. I, we haven't been inside the dentist's room. The pharmacy, maternity ward, newborn room, delivery room. I don't think we've been in any of those. Well, now you have the map with you. Does it update whenever you move where you're currently situated? Uh, oh, that shows you where a key is needed. And that shows you a recording station. Yeah. Yeah, EF1, so east. My question is if it's kind of like the... Oh, wait, or are we in EF1? Or, no. It. This is definitely this floor. I no, thought that... east from... wing, map F1. Floor okay. 1. Mm -hmm. So east floor 1. I just wondered if maybe there was a little post-it note-y thing to tell us which room we are currently standing in. Yeah, that'd be now. nice. Looks like they're going full old school with this. I mean, it's not terrible. Oh, stairs. I don't like stairs. Yeah. I mean, you have to go upper. Oh, hey, it's that one. Is it a Caravaggio? Yep. yep. Judith beheading hollow furnace painted by Caravaggio, 1602. Yep. It depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general hollow furnace in his tent after charming him. The recreation of Caravaggio's work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, they really like to assemble the most grotesque paintings from history. Hmm? Yep. Or at least the most violent ones, or the most disturbing ones. It's interesting how, yeah, those were both definitely paintings that we learned about in art history. Oh, a hex and end socket. It's missing the handle. So that's how we get into that one room. A patient report. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and transfer could worsen it, worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to a new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. A heart transplant? The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hands. Did he cut it off then? Or I think we have to. Uh, is this is the... Is this going to be the mortuary? Maybe. <gasps> oh! That was a person in a wheelchair. With really long arms. Oh, the camera's twirling. Is that a torso? It's a torso. It's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Is it back? We heard the noise. No, 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 I just wanted you to stay paused on... Well, why would we want to stay paused on that? No. Obviously, <sighs> dismembered torso thing. I I think that the father, the doctor, is behind the removal of her eye. Also, another gas mask? Oh. On that statue? I wonder I wonder if he is trying to, like, revive the wife using her somehow. Oh, look at all the hands holding the torches. Very fan of the opera. Do not run, it says, as you probably have to go through a running sequence. Uh, no. I bet if we run... You attract things? Maybe. It's locked from the other side.
Except for there's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I don't... Oh! Pause. Run. Lock from the other side. Freaky. Can you lock that behind you? Okay, looks like it. What? Looks like a priest. What the hell is going on? Oh, never mind. What's going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. Uh, one minute. It, she is one of the twins. Oh. You Don't you think? Maybe. Could be. Because what? it could be that the sister... Was the one that had the heart attack. Was the one that came. Yeah. To the oh, hospital. Oh, that's a good point. And visited him. Because why else would he be going, Oh, I already met you before. Maybe. That's a good point. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. Anything could be lurking in the dark. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. Uh, Why does he have this thing? Yeah, so, I mean, there are nail clips all around the mansion, so... Yeah, it's true, but it's someone... a nailer with a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. And normally you would never put the air pressure tank on the front like that, because the uh, you can the risk puncturing it. Well, no, the uh, the front thing is for putting it level against the wood, and so this right, has right. been modified very specifically for very violence. specifically for to make it into a weapon. But you know, he's like, oh, it's just dangerous. He doesn't at all try to explain what the the wheelchair monster is. Nope. It's not plugged in. Oh yeah, look at all the candles. I didn't uh, even think about that. Isn't she gonna ask who that is? No. I... It's gonna bug me, but I'm not gonna question it too hard. But yeah, it's like, imagine finding this guy in here and be like, What are you doing? What is this? I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some oh. decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. That sounds terrifying. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. So see, the girls went missing. I came here looking for information. Any? I don't. That's. But like, he still absolutely could say more, and also the body. Yep. Because like, she could be like, but who were they? Mm-hmm. 
A well-worn crowbar. We need that as a melee weapon. It's not plugged in. I think the it's not plugged in might be a mistranslation. It could just be it's not powered. Mm hmm Is that... Can you go back to that one wall? Right? Oh. Radioactive suits are all lining the wall. Okay. Yeah, look to the right. Or, uh, go straight. I'm just looking. I recognize that lady on the right. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Maria Wildberger's diary. 1st of January, 1967. So that was, what, four years after the first entry? William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital is located would be the best for us. That would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep, waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention, but... Then he looked at me again, and his eyes opened wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We're gonna have a baby. He said. I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not fall find sleep until early morning. What? Uh... So yeah, A and B means which entries mm -hmm. we found. Yeah, what's up with the radioactive suits? Yep, more morphine. Boy, she's gonna have some problems after this. Oh, crowbar. Clip of nails. Have you ever used the nailer? Or that does that require that you turn off your light? Yeah. It reminds me of... Oh, aren't there games where you can tape a flashlight to your weapon or something? I know in the original Doom... Doom. Like in Doom 3, you either yeah. could do flashlight or gun, and that was awkward. Mm -hmm. More modern, I think, ports of it let you do both, like the Switch port did, but... Eh. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Where's the control panel? I do not know. I'm just gonna look around. Probably here? Gaz Naturel. Uh, like a puzzle, but yeah. Got to find the control panel. Ah, well, there's the map. Yep, basement map. Boiler room, basement, morgue. You see, you've already been to the morgue, right? Yep. And then Floor. also this. Generator room, x-ray room. Okay. Is that where it's posted? Small valve that appears to have fallen off of something. Yeah, I think it might be taped there. Yep. Ten. 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 All right. Yep, so that goes in the first spot. Okay, it's too much. Oh, those all decrease.
Yeah, there, there you go. Eh. Eh, camera angles. Oh, what's wrong? Or do you press that button up there? Unless maybe maybe it has to be at eleven. That it needs to be one higher. Really? Hmm. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try that. Because yeah, we. Because whenever you started it, it always dipped one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're right. And now we can see, which means probably fight time. Mm-hmm. That's not much of a dodge. Oh, boy. Just dodging backwards? Yeah. I don't know. Well, we could go out that door. It, eh? I'm going to try and go back this way. Because we know it's a safe room. Uh-oh, why is it dark here? I do not know. Maybe because there are no lamps. And also, I, I suppose it's where he has candles lit. Yeah, but interestingly enough, no power in here. Despite everything. Hmm. It's a shame. I just remember there are these computers, and we're like, well... Mm hmm But no. I'll try talking to him one more you time. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father. I don't think I can save in here, though. Mm-mm. No, you'd need to find another recorder. I almost wonder if this is like a, um... Uh... Like, if he just serves as a hint system and he just hangs out in there forever. Perhaps. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any more loot. Now, who wants to bet... But can you kill him? Or is he just slow enough? Yeah. I am unsure. It'd certainly be nice if he was dead. And the problem is, you don't know how many hits he'll take. And whether or not he's even killable in the first place. Wasn't that the dead? No, okay. And yeah, I don't really know. I feel like I might have to kill him if I want to... Uh, well, either way, you can go up to the library. Fully explore that area. Yeah. Okay, so if we go back to the, down to the basement, it was the that that hallway, right? Yeah, we haven't been in the morgue yet. I think is the thing. Really? I thought that that's where the man was, because it had all of the oh, chambers and stuff. You're right. So I think the priest is in the morgue. Oh, are the red rooms the safe rooms? Oh, right. Huh. So have we not been in here then? Yeah, we haven't been in the west basement. Well, we've been in the generator room. Wait. Oh, you're right. Then who... I'm confused. Yeah, the, the map is confusing. I... Uh, I don't know what the B means. A and B, I don't know. 
Okay, there's nothing here. In one way or another, we can see what's going on. I... I don't know. I like it. It's a decent... Resident Evil clone. Clone? Not really clone. Well, we haven't found what we need there, have we? No. Let's, let's try to get to the library. Isn't it this? Locked from the other side. I guess. I think it's uh, it's one of those that I don't think I'm really built for a horror game today. That too. Oh. But at oh. least we can get in here. Maternity ward. Oh no. I don't like this. I mean... Nails. Okay. It's full of various medicines. There was a poster about child abuse on one of the wall. Oh man. It's full of various medicines. Oh, this is the person who has the metal piece of metal clutched in their hand. I think they need the fake heart. Really? Yep. So what you do is you put the fake heart in them and get the blood pumping just enough to release the hand? Yes, so. Or for the hand to release. Oh. Maintenance crew. Lucas Houston. Or Huston. Huston. Yeah. Evening shift. Electrical maintenance. 2145. Nurses told me that the lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned off the lights, I could see one of the bulbs on the wall was indeed flickering. I was getting ready to change it. A man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Want to look for the flickering lamp? Sure. It was only when the lights were off. Wait, it was only when the lights were off, though? Yeah. Well, that one isn't lit on the wall. But it's not flickering, either. Yeah. Oh, oh that one. I have a secret door. I don't know if we're going to find the library anytime soon, Shell. <laughs> it seems like one of those games that might not... Oh, oh look. it's a safe room. And there's a record back there. I'm just going to look at everything. Various mannequins are kept under these sheets. But are they really mannequins? Yep. Seven inch tape. I don't know if there's anything left in here. I guess there's the mirror. Uh, Doesn't fit. Oh. Why is the music gotten freaky? Yep. <gasps> is it a portal of some sort? The little room. Cages? Bones? Nope. Or... No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. We don't have to go through a long cutscene again. Um, so... I will admit, I don't want to start exploring a new area yet. I know there's a temptation to uh, to keep going. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's like one more electronically locked room in this area. And mm -hmm. we might as well check. Uh, and I also, think. you probably want to rec do another recording. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that ultimately, as, as neat as this actually is seeming, I... Okay. 
Uh, have we been in here? I forget. Unfortunately, everything is different. <gasps> no, there's there's new creatures here. Yep. Ah. It's. I'm assuming we can actually kill some of them. <gasps> I hear another one. Don't let it get too close. Oh, what the? Did Are it you serious? Barf blood? And it has an oxygen tank strapped to it. And what? I think I think it's dead. Okay, dead. now it's actual dead. Yeah, you can tell because it doesn't have any physics to it. Oh, there's an electronic lock over there, but that ain't it. Hmm. I thought there was one more electronic lock. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it might be on the other side of this mess. Uh, cause we're here. Yeah, it was. I think either the on the other side of the waiting room. It, yeah, it was one of those rooms. But it looks like there's rubble in the way there. Mm hmm. That or you have to go through the dentist's room first? Maybe. Oh, this is where you started, though. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I'll go deal with those guys, and then we'll save? Yeah, because we have a tape. Mm -hmm. I could maybe do more, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's one of those, I think we have a pretty good idea of what kind of game this is. Uh, for better and worse. There's two of them. Watch out. Oh no, the reload time is terrible. How's your I, health doing? I don't know. Not great. I mean, you have two... Caution. I think I'm fine for a bit. I'm just going to wait until they potentially reset. Unless they're still both here. Just easier to aim without seeing them. Yeah, so if, if I shoot them all there on the ground... Who's standing or sitting there? Or no, it's another doll. Yeah, creepy doll. Oh, gives me the creeps. Okay, so we oh, have... Oh, that's the electronic door. We got this one, though. Oh. Chismet tribe. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismuit tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern in the island's shore dating from the 10th century. Didn't they say that when they were in the hospital, they heard a a clanking sound yep. in the night. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried... Wait a minute. Is this some kind of weird portally situation where it's the same twins or just any twins or all twins? Or just twins in general? But are they all from the tribe, or are they f from elsewhere and taken there? Do you understand what I mean? Dunno. It could just be a thing where anyone who dwells on this island, if they have twins, they're cursed somehow. I, I don't know. Yeah. Dunno either. Who knows what it could be. But for now, I will say this is a good stopping point for us as interesting as it would be to continue on one i am sufficiently freaked out i i do okay with horror games if i have a gun but this is a pretty sub-tier gun as far as things go um can i can i say my my predictions okay sure for this okay so definitely definitely i think the main character is one of the twins and that there's if 
Wander, can you look at me? I'm just pulling up information for the game. That's okay. You okay. Keep going. And I think it, it is a case where the doctor and his wife had these twin daughters, but notice how the time of their birth, the clock stopped. Yeah. That could have been indicative of the curse. Yeah. And maybe this island is cursed in such a way that any twins born to it... I, I don't know why that they would have to die at the age of 10, but, you know, they disappear or whatnot. But the interesting thing is, I think in this case, maybe the mother sent the girls away. Maybe she got them off the island before they turned 10 years old. And the father went mad. And I think he's the one behind all of these horror monsters. Because only he has the expertise being a doctor. To potentially make to, them. To potentially make these creatures and keep them alive. Even with their limbs taken off. And, you know, they're connected to these oxygen tanks and other things. Now, I don't know. Uh, like, he, he must be the John Doe. Or someone affiliated with him must be the John Doe. He finally found the girls and her sister got there a week earlier mm. and talked to the father. I could see that. Yeah. But you know, she's come, you know, the other daughter. That's why the, the priest said, Oh, but I thought I saw you earlier. And I don't know why he needed her eye. Maybe it's some bizarre thing in which he needs an eye from each of them or Maybe he's creating something. Maybe he's trying to bring back the wife. Uh, who knows? But it's just... I think that's what this is Yeah, the, there is for. that weird mirror dimension. So there's clearly some supernatural bits going there is, into this. Yeah, there is there's some super, something supernatural going on as well. But I will say that uh, I think this is a good stopping point for us. We keep going, but we just do not have enough time to juggle like a gazillion series at the moment. So it's easier to just say... We've seen enough for now. So, I will say that Tormented Souls is out on Steam today, and it is only 20 bucks, which actually is very reasonable. It's got a lot of quality. It's... The combat, I think, is going to be the one thing that holds it back, and the voice acting, I guess, a little bit. But if you're a person that's been looking for something closer to Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, like the original ones, and Silent Hill, this is probably going to appeal a fair bit. And... I I wish there were more horror games like this. I also wish I could play them more comfortably. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh, really, I just like the going around mansions, finding clues and lore, and, and unlocking doors yeah. with puzzles and stuff. Yeah. I could care less about the monsters, monsters but... Yeah. I'm okay with the monsters occasionally doing a chase segment, but just sitting there piling nails into a weird creature on the floor is kind of like... I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you didn't try burning their bodies, did you? No, that's a good point. Because <laughs> you do have the lighter. That is a good point. I'm curious about that. I We can check if we ever play this again. It might be the kind of thing uh, I will probably do a, like a series of polls uh, in late September uh, for a bunch of horror games for Shell and I to tackle for October. Mm -hmm. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, let us know in the comments below, and hit subscribe, because even if we don't get back to this one anytime soon, we got tons of other rad new indie games coming out every single day, and tons that I've missed as well. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.